Hey guys, right, I've had so many requests to do an updated um, version of my Dorothy Ruby slipper nails that I did last year, I think. Um, but the video is pretty poor, to be fair. But it is actually one of my most watched videos. So I've had so many requests in um, to do a more close-up version. So I'm going to do that today for you. Just to run through the products that I'll be using... Um, CND Shellac in Wildfire, which is a really bright pillar box red, I would say. And this is optional, but I like it to be extra sparkly. So I'm using um, Ruby Ritz, which is, it used to be limited edition, but I think it's open stock now. And you can actually buy these two as a duo from Sweet Squared. And the glitter I'm going to be using today is by Irresistible, who are now called Lacente. And this is Cardinal Ultra Fine Glitter. And I'll put the links as to where you can get all these things from. And then just um, an art brush. And this is just a really soft, soft brush. So I'll get my nail trainer hand and we'll get started. Okay, so this is really, really easy technique to get these nails. Um, I've already applied just one coat of wildfire to the nails and I've cured that for two minutes. So the tacky layer still remains. So I'm gonna get my glitter and what I like to do is just place it under the finger that you're working on and then you're not wasting an awful amount. And then I'm just going to get my brush, dip into the glitter, and I'm just, first of all, just going to pat all over the nail. And what you don't want to do at this point is dig really hard, because what you'll do is mess up the inhibition layer, and then you're going to get gaps where your glitter should be and it's not going to lay flat. Right, so do it by eye. If you've got every bit covered, what I'm gonna do now is wipe off my brush and then we're just gonna start sweeping down like this. I'm doing it quite roughly. Don't worry about getting it on the skin because that will come off at the end after it's been top coated etc. Right, I like to mine to look really smooth so I've got the excess off and all I'm going to do now is just start rubbing it and it almost gives like a foil effect and I'm basing this look on Dorothy's shoes from The Wizard of Oz because I think they look really sleek and like jewel like. And I think this gives the best effect. And these glitter fakes are ultra fine, so they do lay really flat. Right, so. I think I've got the desired look there. If you wanted to get really, really clean lines around the cuticle area and the sidewalls, I recommend just taking a wood stick and just going round the edges and down the lateral folds and it does sort of get the excess bits of glitter off just so you're not sealing them in. Now I want this to be really blingy so I'm going to go in with my Ruby Ritz which is here. So I'm just going to move this pot of glitter out of the way and put the lid on. Yeah, so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go straight in with the top coat, I'm going to seal with Ruby Ritz because it gives it an extra bit of layer of protection and just gives it a nice sparkle really. So I'm going to seal all that in like that. And I don't know if it's coming across on camera as I'm doing this, but it is so sparkly, really, really sparkly. And these would be really nice for like Christmas nails or just anyone that likes a bit of bling really. So just make sure you're sealing all your edges in, sealing the tip so no 
bits of glitter escapes or sticks up. And then all you want to do then is cure that for two minutes. Okay, so I cured the ruby ritz and I also top coated as well and cured that for two minutes and wiped the inhibition layer. And it really, this video really doesn't capture how sparkly it is. I can capture some of the sparkle, but it's a real ruby jeweled red. It is just gorgeous. Really, really nice. And also another tip for sealing in with the ruby ritz is um, you sort of um, minimise the amount of getting glitter in your shellac top coat, which I cannot stand. Um, so I always like to seal it with something first. So if you've got a different colour glitter, obviously, that you can't use Ruby Ritz with, I would seal with Clearly Pink or to keep a separate top coat for your glitters, etc. But this is just gorgeous. So I hope you enjoyed this, guys, um, my updated Dorothy Ruby slippers video. So any more requests, keep them coming in and I'll try my best to do them. So I shall see you in the next one. Thanks guys.